Well, like the extension of unemployment benefits or federal dollars for poultry and catfish producers, it's important to the state's economy for farmers to pay their mortgages and keep their employees working. In fact, banks and farmers often work very closely and often keep one another in the black. To further discuss this relationship, we now turn to This Week in Louisiana Agriculture's Avery Davidson with this week's special guest. Avery? Mike, almost every year farmers have to get loans in order to plant their crops. And joining me now is Kyle Lemoyne. He is a loan officer with Cottonport Bank. Kyle, tell me a little bit about ag lending and what it is you do. Well, with the ag lending, uh, with our ag lending program, um, our goal, our, our ultimate goal is to help farmers to uh, get their crops planted and provide them with the necessary resources they need financially to uh, get them through the whole year. What do farmers have to have before they even walk through the door? Well, we follow a general uh, farm service agency farm plan. Um, we need tax returns from farmers. We need past history, past yields, that sort of stuff. Um, we do both guarantee loans and non-guarantee loans. Guarantee loans are through the farm service agency where we must submit it to them. They still must approve the loan. Uh, we have some loans that are non-guaranteed, which we just approve in-house through the bank. Um, it's a basic gathering of information, mostly your history and financial history, and uh, we put it together in that form plan and get a cash flow percentage, and that's how the loan, is, loan approval is based on. I know it's been a very tough or slow economy for about the last year, year and a half. How has that affected your ability to process loans, approve loans, and farmers' abilities to qualify for these loans? Well, uh, we've been fortunate in our area. We haven't been impacted as, as much as a lot of places with the economy and, and the, the, uh, the hardships. And uh, our area is primarily agriculture-related uh, industries. So naturally, that's been going through a pretty good time in our area the last few years. And uh, this year looks like it's going to be good again, the way prices are and things are looking up. So hopefully we can sustain that. And in some ways, it does make a difference because you're a local bank Correct. here in Louisiana. It doesn't have to go to approval in Washington, D.C., New York City, folks who may not understand agriculture. Correct. The loan never leaves our parish. Whether we approve it, it's, it's in parish. If we send it to the local FSA office, it's in parish. So. All right. Thank you very much. He is Kyle Lemoyne, a loan officer with Cottonport Bank. So, Mike, always have your ducks in a row when you go to the bank and keep in mind what you need to do whenever you go speak to that loan officer. Thanks, Avery. Still to come on this week in Louisiana agriculture, for more than 60 years, he worked the land. So why is 2011 officially his year? Find out when we come back.